Okay, so I'm going to show you how to retarget animations inside Unreal Engine um, from the basic Unreal uh, mannequin to another character. Um, so here we'll see there's some animations. Uh, they're currently retargeted to the um, from the original source to the Unreal Engine um, character. So we can see, if I just zoom out there, we can see this animation here if he's walking around. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that our project, as well as the animations, that it has um, the Unreal Engine mannequin um, imported with the skeleton and the mesh and also the character that we're going to retarget to um, is one that I pulled from the uh, marketplace. So we're going to get this character here uh, to move with the animations that we had previously. So um, I'll just delete that. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up um, both a skeleton for our Unreal Engine mannequin and the skeleton uh, for the, the character that we're retargeting to. The animations have both rotational data and position data. Um, some, some bones should only have rotation uh, and a couple should contain translation data as well. Uh, specifically the the root node and the pelvis, which kind of dictate the um, position of the character, they need to include the translation data as well as rotation. And the um, the IK bones for weapons and stuff like that, the, they they move uh, with the position of the, the hands and feet, so they need to be uh, set up as well. Um, so to do this, we'll first we'll open up the um, the skeleton for the Unreal character. Uh, you, we need to go to Options tab at the top of this bone hierarchy in the skeleton tree. We need to put Show Retargeting Options. This brings up uh, the, the various settings for each of the bones. Um, if we select the root at the top and we right click on it and put Recursively Set Translation Retargeting Skeleton this will set every bone in the hierarchy to not include any translation data um, from the animation and to rely on the translation data in the skeleton itself. Um, once we've done this, we then can change just the bones that we want to have translation data. So for the root, I'm going to set it to have an animation. Uh, this mean this means that the root um, the translation retargeting will be carried from our character from this character the animation to this character. So the pelvis we want to put animation scaled because uh, we want to make sure that the movement is scaled properly to the character for this. And then in the IK bones at the bottom, we're just going to set them to animation. Right, I'm going to save that there and I'm going to do the same thing for the character that we're going to retarget to. So I'll just go select target options, I'm going to right click, I'll set the root to animation, the pelvis to animation scaled and on the IK bones I will set them to animation so that they also um, take the translation data from the animation. Right, the next stage um, is to actually set up the uh, retargeting settings. So again, we're going to open the um, the skeletons firstly for the mannequin, and we'll do our character in a minute. So. You can click Retarget Manager 
And here, where it says set up rig, select rig, I'm going to select humanoid. This should map all of the uh, correct bones in. Um, certainly if you're using the Unreal Engine skeleton hierarchy, these should all go in automatically. Um, if you're using another character skeleton, then you might have to manually go through and assign um, various bones. Um, if I click show in advance, you can see uh, the all of the little finger bones and stuff. It's worth checking these because I found in practice that these sometimes um, end up getting a bit confused in the order, which can make the hands look kind of funky when the um, when you do the retargeting. Um, these look fine. Um, the final thing you need to check is manage the retarget base pose. Now, when you retarget from one character to another, um, they need to both characters' base pose needs to be a similar in a similar position. Uh, the reason is that the the offset of the bones is um, carried across from character to character. So if you have a character in an A pose, but then the character is targeting two is in a T pose, you're going to end up with um, the arms kind of shooting up in a, in a direction that they shouldn't be shooting. Um, <clears throat> something in particular that I've noticed can be different between characters is the um, the, uh, the distance between the legs can make quite a big difference. So you might want to adjust these as I know that the character we were you targeting to has the legs closer together. Um, normally when retargeting one might set the character into a T pose but you can just use an A pose. Um, or, or another pose if you like. The, the key point though is that the character you're retargeting from must be as close as possible to the character you're targeting to. Um, when you've got a pose set up and you're happy with it, um, you can click use current pose and that should save it. Um, I'm going to open the character up that we're retargeting to and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to select humanoid. I happen to know that um, this character is also using the Unreal Engine um, skeleton structure, so it, it should remain the same. Um, it looks like everything is correct. Um, the pose in this character is fine. Um, I've matched the prior one to this character, so I'm just going to save that. Now, while I've got this window open, I will just drag that character in so that we can see her. Um, now I have both skeletons set up. I'm going to select one of the animations, so I'll select that attitude wall. I'll click go up to retarget anim asset, duplicate anim asset and retarget. I click that and this window pops up. Uh, this is my source character. If I select the target character which I've already configured so I can then just click retarget. I now have a new copy of the animation which we can basically see performing the animation here. This is retargeted to to the character. Once we've done that, we can set up very quickly any um, of the animations that we've imported with the same process. Um, it's as simple as a click at that point. 